I want to welcome you back, boys and girls of all ages, to another in our series of Bible stories about prophets of God. As you can remember, uh, prophets are people, they're messengers of God, and God gives certain people messages and then tells the prophet, you go and give this message of mine to the people. So we have been talking about the birth of Jesus and different people who prophesied about Jesus and his birth and as a young child and what wonderful things Jesus would do. So a story that comes quickly after the, the, bab, the, uh, uh, the birth stories is Jesus' baptism. So we're going to talk about um, how Jesus was baptized and how it was prophesied about his baptism. So because this is a story about Jesus, it is in our, the story is in our gold box. If you remember, gold is a precious metal and a precious color. So precious stories get put inside of precious boxes. So whenever you see the gold box, you know that this is either a story about Jesus or a story that Jesus told. And so this is a story about Jesus. Now, before I open this box, we, we need to do some remembering. That we need to remember that when Mary was told by the angel Gabriel that she was going to get pregnant and she was going to have a child and that that child would be special, that Gabriel told her to go and visit her cousin Elizabeth, who was very old, and Elizabeth was with a child as well. And Elizabeth was about six months along out of the nine months in her pregnancy. And so Elizabeth gave birth to a son, and his name was John, who would eventually become known as John the Baptist. Well, and of course, Mary gave birth to Jesus. So we have to remember that Jesus is a cousin to John, who is, becomes John the Baptist. So let us begin our story. And we're going to use our green background this time because it takes place in a rather green and fertile area of Judea. And in fact, we're going to add this blue cloth here because our story takes place on the edge of Judea and along the Jordan River. Well, the Bible says that John the Baptist grew up and he came out of the wilderness. He had been living in the wilderness and he wore camel's hair for clothing, which is kind of an itchy uh, clothing. And it says that he ate locusts, which are like a flying grasshopper and, and honey. So he ate like grasshoppers and honey and that was his food. Well, John the Baptist came out of the wilderness to the Jordan River, and people started coming to him to be baptized and for the forgiveness of their sins and to confess their sins and then to get washed clean by John in the Jordan River and then to sin no more. But there were other people who came to the Jordan River to see John, but they didn't necessarily like John. And they were the Pharisees and priests and scribes. Scribes are people who um, are professional, people who know the Bible. They know all about the Bible and what the Bible says. And so these priests and the, and the scribes and the Pharisees, they asked John, they said, who are you? 
And he says, and they said, are you the Messiah? And he says, no, I'm not the Messiah. So then they said, well, then are you Elijah, the prophet Elijah? And he says, no, I'm not Elijah. And so they said, well, then are you a prophet or one of the prophets? And he says, no. And they said, well, then why are you here baptizing people? And he says, I baptize people for the forgiveness of their sins, and but there is one who is more powerful than I who is coming after me. I baptize people with water, but he will baptize with the Holy Spirit. And he is more powerful than I, and I am not even worthy to reach down and untie his sandals, his dirty sandals. And so, as it happened, Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan River where John was baptizing people. And Jesus says, I wish to be baptized too. But John, who knew that Jesus was greater, he says, no, you can't, I can't baptize you, Jesus. Jesus, you need to baptize me. But Jesus said, so that the scriptures and the prophecies can be fulfilled, you need to baptize me. And John says to all of those listening, behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And so John and Jesus, they go into the river and Jesus gets dunked into the water. But when he comes up out of the water, a strange thing happens. The heavens open up like a beam of light, the brightest sunlight, the heavens are torn apart. And the Holy Spirit comes down from heaven like a dove and rests on top of Jesus. And then a voice from heaven says, This is my Son, my beloved, and with him I am well pleased. And so that was how Jesus became baptized in the Jordan River by John the Baptist and how then Jesus went off to do his wonderful ministries of healing people and teaching people all about God's love. So now let's talk about some wonder questions. I wonder if John the Baptist and Jesus remembered that they were cousins and that they, they had known each other as children. I wonder if John the Baptist got tired of eating grasshoppers and honey. And I invite you as, as I ask you these wonder questions to, if you want to, to pause the video and to think about how you might answer these questions. And remember, this is not a test, so there's no right or wrong answer. Whatever you come up with will be a wonderful answer. Another question is, Jesus never did anything wrong. The Bible says that he was without sin. So John was baptizing people for the forgiveness of their sins and for the things that they did wrong. So I wonder why Jesus felt like he needed to be baptized, even though he had never done anything wrong. I wonder if the people were afraid when they heard the voice from the sky saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. I wonder why the Holy Spirit appeared to look like a dove I wonder if Jesus felt differently after he was baptized and God called him his beloved son. I wonder how this might have changed Jesus or made Jesus feel differently. I wonder if you have ever heard the voice of God, maybe not thundering from heaven, but maybe somewhere in your mind or in your heart, 
you felt like God was talking to you. Have you ever talked to God? Have you ever talked talked back or, or spoken to God? I'm sure you do in your prayers every night or prayers in the daytime. I wonder if you have ever felt the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. Maybe it wasn't like a dove, but maybe it was just something inside your heart that made you feel special and made you feel that God loved you. I wonder if you've ever felt the Holy Spirit. So those are just a few questions that uh, you can ponder and answer at your own leisure. Now let's talk about some activities and crafts that might go with our story about John the Baptist baptizing Jesus in the Jordan River. Let's put our story away. Well, the first thing you can do is you can always take a piece of paper and a pencil and some crayons and draw the best part of the story. What is the most favorite part of this story? And draw a picture uh, about that part of the story. Then, of course, you can always get on a computer and go online and find some coloring pages about the story. I just typed in the words, John the Baptist baptizing Jesus and I found some coloring pages. Here's one on the bottom. It says Jesus baptism and it's John and Jesus and then this heavens opening up and then this picture of a dove. And so maybe you could find this picture and color it. Here's another similar picture. It shows John with what looks like it might be uh, uh, camel's hair clothing that he's got on and they've got these halos around that kind of show them that they're holy people of God and then this dove in a circle too and then I found this in when I uh, typed in baptism of Jesus these is a picture of the words that uh, God said this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And maybe you can color these and remember what God told Jesus. And to remember that God loves us too. Now we're baptized as well. And so I found this picture of a family baptizing their child by a priest. And so maybe you could color this picture to remember your baptism or to remember other baptisms that you might have seen in the church. An activity that you might want to do is if you have like a, a baby doll in your house or some kind of other little uh, toy or Legos, you maybe you could make uh, Legos of John the Baptist and Jesus and the other people and act out uh, the baptism of Jesus. Or you can put some water in a bowl or maybe this is something you do in the bathtub and you pretend that you are John the Baptist and that you are baptizing Jesus. And you can act, have that voice from God coming from heaven and the Holy Spirit. So that's kind of an activity that you might be able to do related to the story, to pretend that you're a baptizer like John. Now here's a craft that I found online, and it kind of looks like this when you look at it on, on for it online, but this is kind of my version of that. And what I did was I found some images of Jesus and John the Baptist and the dove and I printed those off kind of small and then I colored them but you can draw your own images of Jesus and John the Baptist and of the dove well you need to have two paper plates now I happen to have 
kind of nicer, fancier paper plates, but you need two paper plates. So you need one that's intact. And then the other one, you want to cut part of the top off of it. And so that's going to be the part, the top part. And you're going to make this kind of into a puppet show. So then the bottom part of it, you want to kind of cut into these waves to make it kind of look like wavy water. And then that will go on the bottom. And then you can color these with crayons or markers. And I happen to have some paint. So I painted mine this darker blue for the water and then this lighter blue for the sky. And then I put some little browns and reds and greens to kind of make it look like uh, grass along the edge of the shore of the river. And then after I had cut out these images of John and Jesus and the dove, I happened to have some straws that I cut down or you can use popsicle sticks or any other kind of stick that you happen to have. And then I glued those, uh, the images of John and Jesus and the dove, onto the, the straws or the sticks. And then you staple the bottom part to the full paper plate and then the top part, making sure that uh, the images are underneath or sandwiched between the two. So then you can play see these go up and down and so you can have John the Baptist talking to Jesus and getting ready to baptize him and then you can pull it down and then Jesus goes down into the water when he's baptized and then he comes up out of the water after he's been baptized. Well then if you push on this top one then down comes the dove that lights on Jesus like the Holy Spirit. So then you can, so then that kind of makes like a little puppet show that you can make out of paper plates and straws and uh, images of John and Jesus and the dove. So those are just some activities and some crafts that go with the story about John the Baptist, who was a prophet in that he prophesied about the coming of Jesus and that Jesus would be the Son of God and would be the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And we know that Jesus took away our sins when he died on the cross, and he gave us new life when he rose from the grave on Easter. So thank you for joining me for this story today, and I look forward to seeing you for our next exciting story in our series about prophets of God.